Yeah, so the project was started by Ben Reeves, um, a programmer who lives in the UK. And uh, initially the project was started basically to study some basic currency statistics around the Bitcoin economy. So really sort of focused on uh, the mining costs initially, and then also tracking double spends. And this was very early on in 2011. Um, we were exclusively listening to the Bitcoin talk forums for advice and recommendations on how we could add new things into the website that would be interesting to people. So we started building out our market section, our charts, and uh, after that, more and more traction came through. The Bitcoin blockchain explorer was started, and uh, about a year later, we worked on the wallet. It just sort of made just started to make sense to probably include a wallet next to all the transactions themselves. And since then, um, we've seen really impressive growth. So, blockchain.info currently serves between three and four million page views a day. We do over 100,000 unique visitors on a lousy day, and uh, we're seeing um, over a million unique visitors a month. So, that's just on blockchain.info. On the wallet side. Uh, we are having a really fast growth. So um, at the beginning of 2012, or sorry, the beginning of 2013, we had about 70,000 wallets. By March, there were a quarter million. By October, half a million. In the last 30 days, we've seen almost 200,000 new wallet signups. So the velocity of the conversions are really increasing. And a lot of that has to do with the virtuous news cycle we're seeing. But we also hope that um, the word of mouth and the sort of being the gateway to Bitcoin has been uh, really helpful for us. The number one feeling I get when I'm surrounded by Bitcoiners, regardless of what creed or what continent they're on, is enthusiasm. And uh, I think part of that is the creativity, but also the inspiration that people find in studying Bitcoin. When you first hear about it, it sounds too good to be true. But when you spend more time studying it, it really is that special. It's the most important invention in the history of time since the internet itself. And it's going to change the way digital property rights are managed for I mean, everything from money to um, probably the way we track home ownership to car ownership to stocks. Um, it represents the first way for us to legitimately track a property rights across a distributed system. Them. And uh, it's going to be fundamental. Uh, it's going to fundamentally change the world. Well, right now, um, blockchain.info is a gateway to study Bitcoin transactions, um, but it's a bit more than that, too. We have a markets page where you can see uh, the current price of Bitcoin and compare it between different exchanges. And uh, beyond that, we have lots of charts on the Bitcoin economy. So you can look at the total transactions per day, um, the number of uh, Bitcoins in circulation, the number of been destroyed, mining costs, um, orphan blocks. Uh, we have other charts as well that basically um, give you a pulse on the entire Bitcoin network. And that's just sort of for kind of what I would call like more advanced Bitcoin users. Um, we also have a wallet service, and that's actually something we're going to be spending a lot more time working on. We're the only mobile wallet right now that's both in the I, um, app store for iPhone and have an Android app. And uh, we're investing more in both those properties. We, we're really excited about the mobile opportunities for Bitcoin in general. It's our mission to put a Bitcoin wallet in every single person's uh, cell phone around the world. Um, we have a lot of different ideas for the development of tons of services, and we're going to continue to build uh, applications that take benefit uh, that benefit um, you know on the Bitcoin protocol itself. Right now, we're really focused on the wallet, though. Um, we're not trying to do everything. We really want to have just the world's best, most useful, and most user-friendly Bitcoin wallet that's mobile and everywhere you want to be. So our strategy sort of demonstrates that we have a web wallet, we have an Android wallet, we have an iPhone wallet, we have a Chrome extension, we have a Firefox extension, we have an iOS app um, or a Mac app. So we're really trying to build a footprint that allows anyone to experience Bitcoin wherever they are and uh, specifically for wallet transactions. But there are tons of opportunities for amazing entrepreneurs to build all kinds of exciting services and uh, we're happy to help support all of them. Um, for me, the probably biggest dangers are misunderstandings around how useful it is and um, potentially a competitor uh, cur cryptocurrency that comes along, which I don't think is really the end of the world. Um, everyone that participates right now in Bitcoin will learn and study how these systems work. And if something comes along that's even better than Bitcoin, that's good for everybody too. Um, and we can all learn and adapt. And uh, that's I don't really see too many major threats. I think a misunderstanding by policymakers um, could be trouble them in the short term, but longer term, when they spend time understanding how it works, um, I think they'll see the benefits and uh, we'll, all, we'll all be more happier for it, I guess.